So good morning, everyone. Today is the solid two case presentation. So we have two cases today. Uh, the long case will be uh, non semanomatous germ cell tumor, and short case will be the head and neck case. Uh, so Kunal will start with the long case. Now. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm presenting a case of 43 year old male. Uh, resident of Odisha and farmer by occupation, married uh, with no children. His echo performance status is one. He presented the chief complaints of uh, left sided scrotal swelling since one year, left sided cervical uh, swelling since five months, and abdominal pain since two months. The patient was already uh, apparently all right before one year, after which he present, I, uh, noticed left sided scrotal swelling since one year, which was insidious in onset and it was static for the first seven to eight months and then progressively increasing size in, in size uh, for the next uh, three months. Uh, without uh, uh, without pain and uh, there was no history of aggravating or relieving factors and no history of uh, antecedent trauma or overlying uh, redness over the swelling. Uh, he also had a history of left cervical uh, swelling since five months, initially marble sized and uh, painless, and then uh, increasing over the increasing uh, over the next uh, four months in num uh, in, in number and size. Uh, uh, and he had a history of abdominal pain since uh, two months, which was dull aching. <laughs> Uh, uh, and incidents in onset, uh, centrally, uh, central abdominal pain, and uh, uh, he gives a history of uh, pain which uh, slightly reduces on bending forward at a pain score of around average of 6 to 7 by 10, and uh, uh, not associated with nausea or vomiting. Uh, he also has a history of uh, involuntary weight loss, uh, amounting to around 15 kg weight loss over the last uh, one year. Uh, there is no <laughs> past history of uh, fever, night sweats, or anorexia. There's no history of abdominal distension, malina or hematogesia, no history of jaundice, no history of cough, dyspnea, uh, chest pain or hemoptysis, and no history of convulsions or a uh, headache. So uh, summarizing, uh, he's a 43-year-old male who presented with one-year history of left-sided uh, scrotal swelling along with uh, cervical swelling and abdominal pain since last two months uh, with a uh, history of uh, clinically significant involuntary weight loss. Uh, so a uh, differential in this uh, case would be uh, testicular tumor, uh, given the history of uh, scrotal swelling and then uh, progressively uh, developing uh, cervical and abdominal uh, cervical swelling and abdominal pain and uh, the less likely differentials would be uh, the uh, 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 high grade lymphoma or uh, given the history of involuntary weight loss and uh, history of uh, and uh, other less likely differential could be uh, sarcoma Uh, why did you give sarcoma as a differential? What are the points in the paper? Uh, uh, it's a, a least uh, differential. Uh, the points uh, uh, against sarcoma are many. Uh, the age is not favoring uh, the uh, sarcoma. Plus, uh, uh, the, uh, the the duration is also uh, like, uh, like since one year. And uh, uh, so these are the points against uh, sarcoma. With sarcoma, you would expect in a young male with the testicular swelling and the... If the age group is around uh, in the uh, early teens or in the uh, if less than 10 years, then we expect rhabdomyosarcoma. sarcoma. Uh, but uh, the age group is not worrying. This patient is 43-year-old male. Uh, past, uh, past history, uh, he had a history of uh, uncomplicated mild COVID illness in June 21. And uh, February 22 again, uh, history of recently detected diabetes, uh, no history of COX or COX contact, no history of past surgeries, and no history of undescended justice. Uh, treatment history, he was evaluated outside for cervical swelling, and I uh, received uh, empirical uh, antituberculous therapy for five days in March. Uh, family history, uh, history of oral malignancy in mother. Uh, personal history, the diet is mixed uh, with normal bowel and bladder habits, and sleep and appetite are adequate. And he has a history of uh, smoking of one packet per day uh, since last uh, 10 years. Going to the general examination, uh, he is conscious oriented to time, place, and person, well built uh, and nourished. Height is 173 centimeter, uh, weight is 70 kilo. Uh, he is afebrile, uh, pulse was 70 uh, with uh, normal uh, force volume and tension measured uh, uh, on the right uh, radial artery. Uh, respiratory rate is 18 per minute, uh, blood pressure is 120 by 80 millimeters of mercury. Uh, and saturation on rumor was 99%. Uh, the uh, oral cavity was normal, uh, no pallor, icterus, no pitil edema. Uh, there was lymphadenopathy in the left cervical uh, level 4 and supracurricular lymph nodes, uh, which was 6 by 4 centimeter in size, uh, non-tender, uh, mobile, and conglomerate uh, lymph nodes. 
and there was also left axillary invert which was uh, sized around 3 by 2 cm from mobile and uh, non tender uh, there were no dysmorphic features and no gynecomastia and there were two tattoo marks on the anterior chest wall uh, on systemic examination the uh, first is the parabdoma examination the uh, the overlying skin uh, was normal uh, with normal uh, umbilicus uh, on uh, superficial and deep palpation there was no tenderness uh, liver was palpable 2 cm below the costal margin in the mid clavicular line with a uh, with a liver span of around 15 cm uh, percussion was uh, tympaning all throughout except the liver and uh, on testicular examination <coughs> uh, uh, the on inspection there was a bilateral scot uh, scotal swelling with more uh, with uh, a left sided more on uh, swelling more on the left side than on the right side with overlying skin uh, on the left side uh, showing a loss of uh, uh, testicular rugosity and on palpation there was 10 by 8 cm swelling on the left uh, scrotum which was cystic and had a trans elimination test uh, positive and uh, testis was ill defined uh, felt and there was no reducibility and uh, i could get about the swelling on the right side there was a testicular swelling which was again 5 by 4 cm uh, firm uh, having a smooth surface and non tender uh, respiratory examination was uh, normal and there were no positive findings uh, trachea was central respiratory movements equal and percussion note was resonant and normal uh, vesicular breath sounds heart sounds were normal and there was no adventitious uh, uh, no no murmur and uh, cns examination uh, including higher mental functions motor and sensory examination and gait were uh, normal so in this case uh, uh, this patient of 37 43 year old male with uh, left sided testicular swelling since one year and uh, left sided cervical swelling and uh, abdominal pain since last 2 to 4 months and on examination uh, having left sided hydrocil and right sided testicular mass uh with uh, uh, hepatomegaly uh, 2 cm uh with uh, uh, differential in this case would be uh, uh, uh testicular tumor likely uh, germ cell tumor this case with uh, probable uh, likely uh, lymph nodal and retroperitoneal metastasis okay just one some short summary good morning sir uh and i presented a case of 43 year old male who had a history of one year uh, one year history of uh, left sided scrotal swelling followed by a five month uh, old history of uh, left sided cervical uh, nodal swelling and uh, two two months history of abdominal pain with clinically significant involuntary weight loss uh, along with on examination findings uh, showing left sided testicular hydro, uh, left sided uh, hydrocele and right sided testicular mass with uh, uh, enlarged the supraclavicular and level 4 cervical lymph nodes of 6 cm Uh, and uh, left side axillary swelling uh, so uh, in differential in this case uh, would be uh, uh, likely testicular tumor uh, um, on like uh, most likely germ cell tumor with uh, uh, lymph nodal and uh, retroperitoneal metastasis one question family history you asked for uh, some cancer in the mother what is the relevance of family history in uh, germ cell tumor in germ cell tumor uh, 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 on uh, it has been found uh, on the studies that uh, history of testicular uh, testicular tumor germ cell tumor in uh, in uh, sibling increases the risk by 6 to 8 times and uh, if the there is a history in father and then there is a risk of around 2 to 3 times uh, according to the uh, genome wide studies so uh, chemical differential to uh, is it presenting symptom was what so presenting symptom was left sided uh, swelling since one year Left side swelling since one year. And any negative history? You asked for history? Yes, sir. So there was no uh, antecedent history of trauma, no history of fever, no uh, uh, and uh, uh, no history of uh, previously uh, uh, history of undescended testes in the uh, childhood. Uh, for the swelling, uh, no pain. No pain. Pain history. You said some other swellings. You used the word hydrocele. Yes, sir. So when uh, he presented with left-sided uh, swelling. but on examination uh, the left sided swelling was most likely to be a hydrocele uh, in the presented examination yes sir so how do you distinguish hydrocele from a testicular mass on clinical examination what could you do and how did you come to the conclusion it is not a mass so the uh, left sided swelling was uh, uh, first of all uh, the it was so the uh, question is how to distinguish hydrocele from testicular so the uh, hydrocele will have a uh, cystic uh a nature uh, uh if it is uh, not tense and uh, it can also show fluctuation and transmutation are the most uh, two characteristics of uh, hydrocele 
uh, then we have to differentiate whether it is yes sir that is positive yes sir most of the you may have some examples to say to show me how you do uh, yes performance yes and then uh, to check for reducibility and impulse on coupling which will differentiate from uh, uh, infantile hydrocyl versus uh, uh, primary uh, vaginal hydrocyl then you said in history what class was it sir uh, the right testis was also uh, enlarged with a uh, size of around 5 by 4 cm examination you said something what class was it sir there were uh, lymph nodal swellings so that swelling in history you can't distinguish from half a so the uh, the uh, the uh, cervical and the axillary uh, uh, the lymph nodal masses were uh, yeah, cervical uh, you had a, on the left side and now you're on the right side also yes so the side swelling is there so if the both side swelling is there what can be different so the other differential uh, we need to look at the uh, uh, any retroperitoneal mass which is uh, causing the uh, spotal enlargement bilaterally uh, okay. Uh, with leading to uh, secondary varicose cells. Uh. Very good. So, you uh, have to ask about abdominal swelling. Patient said abdominal swelling. No, sir. No, it's of abdominal distension, only abdominal pain. Uh, abdominal pain. Where is the abdominal pain? So, abdominal pain on history, I said it is central in location and uh, uh, which are partially relieved on uh, in the back or sir, central front? abdominal pain in the, on the front, sir. On the front? Yes, sir. And no history of radiation or no history of back pain, and which partially got relieved on bending forward. On bending forward, how do we explain? So, uh, this could be explained by the retroperitoneal location of the uh, mass, which can uh, be relieved by uh, because there is a uh, 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 surrounding nerve no, no compression, which might get partially relieved because of bending forward position. This abdominal pain, what happens in germ cell tumor? Uh, uh, you know, uh, is primarily because of nerve involvement? No, sir, because of the uh, location of the uh, uh, mass, which is most likely in the uh, paraortic and the uh, landing zone uh, nodal areas, uh, which most likely presents as a back pain. Uh, but... So it is not always the nerve And uh, just for the time being, uh, forget that you had something up. Does this give you a clue to what kind of disease is there? If this is a pain, you have an abdominal mass, intestinal swelling with abdominal mass. So you don't have a diagnosis, but does it give you a clue uh, what is happening to the, what kind of disease is happening there? So the, uh, the testicular tumor, which is a, could be a germ cell tumor, most likely a seminoma in that case, uh, could be seminoma, given the... Okay. So non uh, It can uh, happen, but uh, given the age and uh, the... Uh, history of testicular swelling along with uh, abdominal mass, uh, seminoma more than uh, non seminoma. Oh, that is for age and the swelling. Okay, that's fine. It's a you know, fair uh, argument. But anyone else? Uh, you have a uh, you know, abdominal mass, intestinal tumor, and pain is there. What is, uh, what did, uh, you know, it's a little bit of 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 most likely you can clinically say other you know whatever may be other swelling or not this patient is not going to go for surgery that is out so by yeah. you're dealing with fairly big tumor in the retroperitoneum which will be requiring uh, you know because what is said the pain happens because of surrounding involvement maybe now more often than not it's not the nerve which causes the pain so the uh, the masses which are located uh, might not be able to be clinically palpable on examination uh, considering the location which is uh, uh, retroperitoneal unless it grows to a very large extent uh, so, uh, not pain was there so that gives you so pain becomes a uh, important history about it uske baad ye ho gaya abnormal mass ke liye fir mein tumne bola clinical patient ne symptom aur kya bataya tha patient had a uh, uh, super, uh, the cervical lymph node so cervical lymph node okay cervical lymph node was there and axillary lymph node on exam palpation or on examination sir. on examination cervical lymph node uh, patient didn't say anything 
patient gave a history of cervical lymph node. Cervical lymph node. On further examination, uh, there was an axillary lymph node palpable as well. Okay. Very good. So, cervical lymph node, uh, what it tells you? Uh, any other negative history you want here? Uh, uh, I've taken the negative history of uh, gastrointestinal complaints mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, a negative history of uh, 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 the uh, respiratory complaints as well. And so what you are taking is the, so respiratory complaint. Good. Why you took the history of respiratory complaint? Because any uh, 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 abnormal mass in the lungs uh, uh, might involve the might involve. So you are looking for second prime because other prime is not there. Yes. Correct. So let me change it for 20 year old. Yes. Because generally 20 is more than that, right? Yes. Okay. Now what do you Is there any significance? Uh, we will. Uh... Anyone? Hey, the cervical lymph node is. In this, what other questions? Which will give you some. Uh, Useful information. B symptoms, okay. Or push, or push. You do lymph node, up with that test is with the abdomen, but the abdomen pattern. We talked about testes, then we talked about abdomen. Uh, no, Puska was lymph node, Puska was meds, Kaja, the jumps at Chiba. Ah, medicine, medicine, correct? To Uskiba cervical. Rule must be, but generally, I say what that pattern, correct? What can we ask for something which can happen when you have a disease in mid So you can say that patient has no symptom, but the moment you say cervical lymph node, you can have a leading question. If you have a medicinal lymph node, what can happen? Primary medicinal tumors, the germ cell tumors. Primary to have the athletic test is made. And a medicinal may get to tackle it. It can have a bit what you said a bit. It was okay, but you said second primary. A second primary to the both and a manita. Now we should be asking. But first, you have to see is disease a case explained correct? Can the patient have a what you said lung symptom because of this disease? Can you have lungs and symptoms or respiratory symptom because of something in the media? Yes. Yes. So that means it needs to be asked if you are uh, bored, a cough, breathlessness. When you ask them, patient may be climbing, patient may be climbing earlier 10 stairs, uh, 10 flights of stairs. And now he's climbing three. It may be good, but that gives you a hint there is something. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Uh, X-ray and CT scan is by and large a part of your clinical examination today. But having said that, this gives you a hint. If you ask those questions, you do become a bit wiser in you know, taking decisions. If you say that a patient has 10 flights of stairs, he uh, you know, was going to 3 or 4. Ja hai. It is good. But then you will be investigating it faster and maybe implementing things faster for those patients as compared to this. Correct? चलो ये हो गया सर्वाइकल लिम्फ नोड और क्या बोले तुम और और क्या था पेशेंट को हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेट लॉस हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेट लॉस इज देयर वो हिस्ट्री ऑफ वेट लॉस इज देयर अच्छा ओके एनीथिंग एल्स नो नो और फैमिली हिस्ट्री अच्छा मैडम ने बोला आपने फैमिलियल हिस्ट्री के बारे में नो पूछने के लिए ठीक है ना एग्जामिनेशन में यू आर सेइंग समथिंग एग्जामिनेशन में टेस्टिस में क्या-क्या बताओ so, uh, the left sided test is uh, the, on the examination. The, uh, there was a left sided throttle swelling and more than more on the left than on the right. The left sided uh, throttle swelling was around uh, 10 by 8 centimeter. With uh, the testes was not able, uh, I was not able to feel the testes completely because of the uh, probable hydrocyl. Uh, the features were left side. Tha. Yes. So, testicular tha ya paratesticular swelling. Or can you differentiate? So the left sided uh, uh, test testes was uh, not uh, uh, I was not able to uh, fill the testes in entirety uh, because of the uh, uh, throttle swelling uh, on the on the left side. You were not able to go to the top of the swelling. But, uh, top I, I I could go and uh, I could go over the top of the swelling. Okay, we argument for that ten centimeter swelling. Those me batana ki testicular part testicular bada muskil. But you have to see all those things. Because this question will come. Just like testicular swelling will come, this question will come. Because this testicular part. Paratestor, Akini, Apne, 
बगल में बैठा है फ्रेंड को क्या उसने बता दिया क्या अब लेकिन ये क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है दिस विल कम एंड दिस यू कैंट स्किप ठीक है तो वो सारा वो बताना होता है एक बार वो आपने एक्सप्लेन किया ना व्हाट यू वांट इन द एग्जाम अब देखो दिस इज अ बिट फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पर्सपेक्टिव आई एम सेइंग कि आप एग्जाम में चाहते हो कि हमारा स्ट्रेंथ क्या है यहां पे ना हमारी ट्रेनिंग का कि ट्रीटमेंट बाय एंड नॉट आता है हमारे स्टूडेंट्स को अच्छा है दे डू अ गुड जॉब आप चाहते हो कि आपका जो डिस्कशन ट्रीटमेंट पे जाए आप अगर यहां फंसते हो तो आप ट्रीटमेंट पर नहीं जा रहे हो और ट्रीटमेंट में जब तक नहीं जाते हो तब तक एग्जामर हैज अ थॉट प्रोसेस कि अरे यार लड़का ट्रेन नहीं है तो इफ यू डोंट यू शुड अवॉइड मेकिंग ऑल दिस मिस्टेक्स कि आप एग्जामिनेशन में और ये आपको यू नो जनरली जो ये सारी एग्जामिनेशन आपको वो दास की बुक आती है सर्जरी वाली उसमें मिलती है ये मेडिसिन वाली बुक में नहीं मिलती है वाली एग्जामिनेशन अच्छी तो वो आपको ध्यान करना पड़ेगा स्वेलिंग के लिए छह सात चीज क्या बोलना होता है वो बोलोगे तो बाय एंड लार्ज पीपल विल बी कंफर्टेबल लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड तो मोस्ट लाइक आपने बताया होगा माय जॉब इज टू रीइटरेट कि देखो ये ध्यान करना है आपको कि जब आप स्वेलिंग के बारे में बता रहे हो तो क्या करना है चलो तो ये हो गया आपका टेस्ट टू स्वेलिंग के लिए एब्डोमिनल का बताओ उसमें सर एब्डोमिनल ऑन एग्जामिनेशन एब्डोमिनल में ये नहीं था सर ओनली लीवर वाज पाल्पेबल 2 सेंटीमीटर बिलो द कोस्टल मार्जिन देखो ये ना थोड़ा सा अनयूजुअल बोल रहे हो अच्छा ये बताओ कि वो जो पेन होती है एब्डोमिनल में वो यू नो कितनी साइज की हो जाती है मांस जब वो पेन आती है आपके एग्जाम्पल का तो पता है आपने पेन बोला हुआ है वो तो सोच रहे हैं कि तो मास फाइव सिक्स सेंटीमीटर का है वहां पे आप बोलो कि मैंने कुछ पैलपेट नहीं किया अब देखो मैंने भी गलती की हुई है मेरे से एग्जाम में हुई थी एंड देन एग्जाम because i was also i suppose especially palpated and i couldn't feel the mass but yes when you showed me i could feel the mass that was true because this by that see really anything can happen in medicine but by that take my words right in the clinic to aapko testicular tumor hai abdomen mein pain hai patient ko aur aap mass palpate nahi karte ho bada unlikely so maine try kiya apne because maybe such a yaar ab ye to saamne mujhe galat dikha hai ya kya sahi hai kya clinic आई हैव ट्राइड दिस ऐसा नहीं है वो सही में आपको मास पैल्पेट होता है तो देखो मैंने पैल्पेट तो नहीं किया बट मैं बोल रहा हूं ये आपकी कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी बता रहा हूं स्पेशली सिंस ही हैज हेपेटोमेगली एंड सर्वाइकल 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 आपको हेपेटोमेगली है सर्वाइकल लिम्फ नोड है तो थोड़ा सा ये इवन बिट के फ्लॉप क्या बोल रहे हो क्योंकि उस मास की फिर बड़ी डिस्कशन होने वाली है कि देखो ये मास है फेरेटो प्रोटीनियल है कि एब्डोमिनल वो है तो आपने कैसे डिफरेंशिएट किया तो वो सारे स्टेप्स आपने बताने होते हैं कि देखो ये स्टेप किया आपने बिठाया लेटाया उल्टा किया जो भी किया वो सारे आप बताओगे उसको एग्जामिनर को क्योंकि द मोमेंट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी यू आर स्टक एंड यू डोंट वांट टू गेट स्टक क्या बोलते हो जैसे ही बता रहा हूं एम आई मेकिंग राइट स्टेटमेंट सुजय इज ऑल्सो देयर लिंगराज इज ऑल्सो देयर करेक्ट ना लेट्स वी डू दिस व्हेन वी गेट स्टक हियर एंड प्लीज पिच इन टू आस्क क्वेश्चन हां मैं तो सब बोल भी गया हूं बहुत सारे क्वेश्चंस तो ये बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है जब आप एब्डोमिनल बोल रहे हो सी दैट वेयर योर कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी अब कई बार होता है एब्सोल्युटली कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी है देन से कई बार हम क्या करते हैं एग्जाम में कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी uh, चीजें दिख रही हैं हिस्ट्री एंड एग्जामिनेशन एंड लैब फाइंडिंग में थोड़ी पता होती है पहले से आप देखो हमें पता होता है कि हमें जब पता होती है तो आपको ही पता होगा यार ऐसे तो नहीं होता वो दुनिया चेंज हो गई लेकिन या तो रिकॉन्साइल करो बट इट इज कॉन्ट्राडिक्टरी देन से इट इफ यू थिंक देयर इज नो वे टू एक्सप्लेन देन यू हैव टू से तो गुड भी देयर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी है But if it is not reconcile yourself, कि ये मैं different बोल रहा हूँ, ठीक है? 
एंड देन अगेन एक्सप्लेनिंग इट तो रेट्रोफिट आई होप सब मास आपने अगर आपको फील ही नहीं हुआ तो बताया होगा बट एग्जामिनेशन में आनी चाहिए पूरी आपने क्या बोला हिपेटो मेरे लिए हिपेटो मेरे लिए तो हिपेटो मेरे लिए एक्सप्लेन किया कि कितना बड़ा है कितना ऊपर से नीचे कितना है आप प्रकर्षण भी बोल दो तो अच्छा है उसके बाद एग्जाम आप ज्यादा पूछेगा नहीं इवन से तो आप क्या चाहते हो कि आपने हिस्ट्री एग्जामिनेशन इतना बढ़िया बोलते जाओ वो बोले तो गोभी जैसे एग्जामिनर गया है आई थिंक सो टुडे वी डोंट हैव एनीवन बट यू नो आई हैव वी हैव ऑल एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हमारे फोर्थ ईयर हैं कंसल्टेंट है जो लोग दूसरा तीसरा चौथा पहला तो जो स्टूडेंट है एग्जामिनेशन होता है देखो हर एक कुछ बोलना होता है उसको वो चलता रहता है 40 मिनट्स से 60 मिनट्स चलता रहता है अकेले जो सोचिए ना हां अमित जो सोचिए वी आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल अराउंड तो तीन चार के बाद आप अगर बोलते जाओ तो सारे भी मूव करो आगे जाओ लेकिन इफ यू आर गेटिंग स्टक एट योर सेइंग इट कि हमने लिवर पैल्पेट किया तो जैसे कि हम क्या बोलते हैं क्लिनिक में लिवर 2 सेंटीमीटर बिलो कॉस्टल मार्जिन नहीं बोलते ना यार आप डोंट स्टॉप इट हियर डेवलप दिस यू नो स्किल ऑफ सेइंग इट कि वे कितना स्पैन है आई नो कितना नीचे पैल्पेबल है सुपरफिशियल सरफेस कैसा है तो ऑल दोस थिंग्स यू हैव टू से मोस्ट लाइकली एग्जामिनर विल बी स्टॉपिंग यू बिकॉज़ एग्जामिनर आल्सो वांट्स टू गो टू द ट्रीटमेंट पार्ट बट ही वांट्स टू नो कि आपको ये चीज आता है कि नहीं बोलने के एंड इंटरप्रेट करने के बट इफ यू डोंट से इट देन यू आर स्टॉप देन यू से अच्छा बताओ तुमने स्पैन किया कि तुमने प्रकर्षण की कि नहीं तुमने सरफेस में नोडल देखा कि नहीं टेंडर वो था कि नहीं देन यू सर इसके रीजन बताओ यू वांट टू हैव दिस रीजन आफ्टर यू हैव सेट टोल्ड द एग्जामिनेशन इजंट इट दैट इज वेयर यू विल बी कंफर्टेबल बट इफ यू आर गेटिंग स्टक हियर करेक्ट सही बोल रहे हो अजय लिंगराज सही बोल रहे हो तो अगेन आई होप यू वुड हैव डन इट अच्छा उसके बाद कहां गए तुम सर्वाइकल लिम्फ नोड के लिए करेक्ट ना आई नो एंड यू सेट इन एग्जामिनेशन क्या था सर्वाइकल एंड एक्सिडेंटल लिम्फ नोड अच्छा सर्वाइकल लिम्फ नोड कैसे एक्सप्लेन के बता दो सेंटीमीटर मोबाइल फॉर्म एंड नॉन टेंडर एंड a few of them were uh, conglomerate uh, lymph nodes ab jo lymph node examination karne aata hai cervix cervix ke cervix mein cervical area ka ab ye cheez ab jo patient nahi hai wo bada zaruri hai ki aap kaise kar rahe ho samne se kar rahe ho ya piche se kar rahe ho kar rahe ho dono haath dal ke kar rahe ho ek haath dal ke kar rahe ho neck flex kar rahe ho ki nahi around kar rahe ho ab ye cheez dekho ek habit hoti hai hum kyunki hum miss kar jate hain this way we are humans to aapko ye dhyan karna hai ki Get into habit of the examiner knows that she is part. That let's move forward. Correct, man. Then you said axilla. Yes. Now, because axilla examination, so you this is necessary. Hey, breast cancer is very necessary. That you are able to, you know, able to show that how you are examining the axilla. If you are not able to make a presentation, do a presentation for this. When you are, you know, what is it? Breast cancer. कि जब होती है क्लास जब होती है प्रेजेंटेशन सी दैट यू आर एबल टू डू इट बिकॉज वहां आप कर रहे हो तो यहाँ भी करो बाइन लाइन एंड अगेन आई रिपीट नो वन वॉन्स की आप ईच एंड एवरी स्टेप करके दिखाओ बट वंस दे सी दैट यू आर फॉर्मलिंग इन एग्जामिनेशन यू आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो टू ट्रीट एंड देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम वेन इट बिकम्स वेरी टफ टू कन्विंस द एग्जाम सो बी गुड एट इट सो दैट यू डोंट फॉर्मल एंड दैट पार्ट क्या बोलते हो आई टेक इट दैट यू हैव डन इट एंड यू अंडरस्टैंड इट तो ये हो गया एग्जामिनेशन के लिए देन वी वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ डिफरेंशियल डायग्नोसिस करेक्ट एनीथिंग फ्रॉम एनीवन आई नो नन्नी एस वर्क में नन्नी के दास अजय सुजय लिंगराज एनी क्वेश्चंस ऑन द केस एनीथिंग ऑन चेस्ट एग्जामिनेशन यस अजय ओके या uh test exam uh, yes, sir sir on uh, inspection the trachea was uh, 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 the the uh, the test wall uh, was normal and uh, chest movements were normal trachea was uh, uh, central in location and uh, the res- uh, the on uh, percussion the uh, the note was uh, resonant uh, uh, throughout except the cardiac uh, uh, borders and uh, on auscultation the uh, patient had a normal uh, vesicular breath sounds uh, one word uh, examiner might want to listen uh, no gynecomastia 
uh, largest was around uh, 4 by 2 cm with uh, enlargement of the liver and left kidney was also enlarged with uh, hypoattenuation of uh, and measuring 10 by uh, 3 cm. <clears throat> PET CT was done uh, subsequently here uh, in March uh, 22, uh, 30th, uh, which showed a uh, retroperitoneal lymph, uh, lymph node mass uh, measuring around 4 by 6 cm with high SUV and uh, other lymph node uh, and regions were enlarged, uh, which was cervical uh, level 4, level 5, left axillary, uh, paraortic intestinal, retrocural, uh, and uh, going down up to the uh, bilateral iliac regions and uh, with left hydrosis. I will show the images. I'm not sure if it is visible, but there is left. Uh, so the biopsy uh, from the uh, node, uh, it we did from left axillary node. <coughs> so the left axillary lymph node biopsy showed a poorly differentiated malignant tumor with uh, arrangement in clusters and uh, necrosis intervening and on immunized to chemist we have non seminal yes. correct so what you will do next after this so after this uh, now we have done the uh, the uh, uh, the work up for diagnosis and uh, staging and uh, so we'll further move to the uh, uh, fitness workup and also counsel him for uh, 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 sperm preservation mm -hmm. and I will check if the uh, if uh, he wants to uh, 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 he's, if he is willing for that mm -hmm. we'll counsel for the same and uh, meanwhile also do the workup for uh, his fitness for uh, systemic chemotherapy mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, uh, echocardiography including echo electrocardiogram and uh, uh, and DTP uh, this uh, GFR uh, studies and uh, 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 audio metrics. So then, uh, uh, then we will uh, uh, then uh, uh, because uh, he is having non uh, seven meters jump cell tumor and uh, having uh, no uh, 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 extra pulmonary visceral met metastasis, uh, we will uh, uh, we will uh, uh, further plan the therapy as uh, uh, three cycles BEP versus uh, four cycles of uh, EP uh, in this uh, case. Uh, risk group it will be uh, 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 stage three uh, uh, good risk sir. stage three uh, good risk okay reason mm -hmm. bata do, do sir, because of the location of the uh, metastasis which mm -hmm. is uh, involving the nodal regions ah. so uh, uh, that comes in uh, good risk and there is no absence of uh, stage three uh, because there is uh, involvement of the uh, there is a testicle primary with retroperitoneal lymphadenopathy as well as uh, left axillary and left supracurricular lymph node. So which is making is three? So the uh, nodes. Which nodes? Uh, left supracurricular and left axillary, okay. which are non-regional. Oh, oh, oh. uh, oh, yeah, correct. It's a non-regional node involvement. It is making three and then you are seeing good risk. Very good. So what's the treatment? What do you want to do? Three BP or four BP? Yes, sir. And, uh, four, he, okay. Three. Sorry, go ahead. Yes, sir. And then he uh, he is 42 years old and he has a history of uh, 10 to 15 years of uh, smoking one okay. packet per day. Uh, 3 BP, 4 EP, we can choose. Karo. So, in, in this case, uh, we'll uh, uh, prefer to choose uh, four cycles of EP given his uh, age of above 40 and uh, history of smoking, uh, <coughs> is more than our, uh, 10 years. After some of the questions will come, uh, you know, uh, to Ati, 
राइट टेस्टिकुलर एंड लेफ्ट टेस्टिकुलर जीसी लैंडिंग जोन फॉर द लेफ्ट इज द पेराटिक नोट एंड फॉर द राइट इट इज इंटरबल नोट बहुत बढ़िया उसके बाद हम जब इनकेस थिंक अबाउट यू हैड नोट सो यू डेड ऑल द स्कैन सी इन केस यू हैड ओनली टेस्टिकुलर स्वेलिंग फिर कौन सा स्कैन कब करते then we will do a ct abdomen pelvis and you abdomen abdomen pelvis both body and if there is a lymph node neuropathy in the abdomen ha uh, or patient is having chest symptoms we will do a ct or otherwise x ray will very good bahut badhiya iske baad mri kabhi karte hain ya nahi karte mri is done when uh, the, uh, on the basis of uh, if there is a has having a neurological symptoms at baseline or uh, elevated tumor markers of uh, uh, hcg more than 5000 and af more than 10000 or extensive uh, non pulmonary meds uh, non pulmonary visceral very good to so, dekho ye sare question aate hain ya thoda aapko yaad rakhna padta hai uh, jab hum ultrasound karte hain to opposite side test mein kya dekhte hain uh, do we do ultrasound test for only one test or both the tests uh, we uh, do for agar maan lo ki localized tumor hai to we do for uh, both the tests both the tests dusre test mein kya dekhte hain sir uh, 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 <coughs> so the uh, there is a chance of uh, synchronous uh, uh, testicular malignancy in very less 0.5% or we can see uh, testicular uh, 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 we will see the non, uh, if the testis is normal in shape and there is not uh, with uh, there is atrophy or not and uh, uh, we will also see for uh, uh, calcifications uh, which can be seen bahut badhiya uh, to that gives you some clue some kuch aisa hai ki iske individual significance batao you have to remember ki microcatheterization has got koi khas significance nahi hai but agenesis ka aur atrophy ka significance as of that you have to say सिंड्रोम लाइक क्लाइंट फिल्टर जो ये अगर है तो उसको कब हम उसको रिपेयर के लिए सर्जरी के लिए बोलते हैं साल तक वो फायदेमंद है इज यूजफुल एंड आफ्टर दैट इज नॉट यूजफुल आइडली इट शुड बी ब्रॉड डाउन विद इन एस एम एस पर विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स और इट कैन बी ब्रॉड डाउन अप टिल वन टू टू इयर्स बहुत बढ़िया एंड ये जो अनडिसेंडेड टेस्टिस है उसकी ट्रीटमेंट वो कहाँ कहाँ अनडिसेंडेड हो सकती है सर द लोकेशन कुड बी इंटर एबडोमिनल और Uh, within the intra canal canal uh, inguinal uh, bahut badhiya kya unke decision making mein farak hai kya are decision making the same ki kahi bhi undescended ho uh, 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 for intra canal uh, uh, if it is less, around for 6 months then we can wait for the uh, for, if it is less than 6 months we can wait for the testes to uh, come down uh, in, in, the testicular tumor ho gayi hai तो उसके इफ यू हैव अ जंक्शन ट्यूमर इन इन द द व्हेन द टेस्टिस इन द कैनाल एंड व्हेन इज द रेट्रोपेरिटोनियम दैट इज इन द एब्नॉर्मल कैविटी इन द रेट्रोपेरिटोनियम डज इट मैटर एंड इज देयर अ डिफरेंस इन द ट्रीटमेंट इन दिस जर्नी की द रेट्रोपेरिटोनियल अनडिसेंडेड टेस्टिस मोर लाइकली कॉजेस नॉन सेमिनोमेटस एंड व्हेन इट इज ब्रॉट डाउन इट इट कैन बी डिस्पोज्ड टू सेमिनोम चैलेंज but you can say the if you are giving this platinum based therapy that may cover all, all these problems and hopefully we don't have to but it is zero like you have to go to uh, uh, no uh, not 
Suppose this car excision, in case they have this total orthodectomy, and if it is left, they have and the yeah, this permitting cord is left, they have to go and remove it. That they have to do it. So that will be good staging, and also uh, you have ensured that you know patient doesn't land up with having uh, you know hernia there if uh, you complete this process. So, uh, in high risk categories, uh, we'll offer uh, four cycles of uh, uh, VIP regimens or uh, uh, four cycles of BEP regimens. How choose both uh, If the patient is uh, uh, age of above, <clears throat> above 40 with uh, or having a mediastinal uh, mass or having extensive pulmonary mats or history of uh, smoking or internal deficiency, uh, in such cases, uh, uh, we'll uh, omit uh, well, So, both better. So, you, you, you understand that. Okay. So, we'll go to short case. So, so just one question. In this case, like, it's understood uh, <coughs> why they did a PET because you are axillary or not. But you might ask the exam role of PET CT in femenoma versus non femenoma. Yeah. And okay. what Go is the advantage when you will do and not? Generally, and remember, have a, a, a one, you know, uh, 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 you're ready uh, that uh, in general of tumor, uh, PET CT in seminoma after evaluation, after treatment response, that is where the role is. All other places, the role is if he and a clinician takes their individual decision to do it. Uh, am I right? Unless someone wants to modify that statement or have so that should be your answer. In the clinic, we do many things, and this is one of them. Okay, anyone, any other comments, questions by anyone? Uh, Akhil or uh, Sambasabayaji, I saw Mishra ji. One more uh, question. Uh, okay. So, uh, if a patient has been diagnosed, uh, if patient is having cryptoarchidism and it is, has been identified at age of seven years, so whether you will do uh, surgery uh, or cupexy or not? Okay, you have two years. Now, look, Akhil, what is it? One situation. Seven years for diagnosed. Who are or cryptoarchidism? My parents took me there. So, whether you would advise cupexy or not? So we will do orchiopexy. Uh, the, the risk of cancer will remain the same, but for better detection and uh, surveillance, we will do. Surveillance? Any surveillance program you will have? Uh, we will uh, 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 do the uh, uh, USG of the uh, scrotum uh, annually in the such cases. Okay. Anything, Akhil? Yes, sir. Yes. A testicular biopsy cup karna par sakta hai. Situation of the USB scrotum karaya opposite side deca Usma Kadi Kega to Babsi Karanega Sojoge. Macro calcification work, yes, not not in micro, usually in macro calcification, you might need to consider biopsy, and then this is also for the follow up as well. Okay. Anything else, uh, uh, Mr. Ji or anyone, uh, Pralad, Akil? Someone has this taken of the retroperitoneal mass now, and uh, ureter is involved in the right hand door, it's hydrolytal necrosis, psychiatry, and how do we manage? If there is a uh, hydrolytal necrosis, uh, then uh, we will uh, try for 10 centimeter mass. Yes, sir. And we will uh, plan for, uh, we will assess whether it is uh, suitable for uh, decompression or uh, 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 PCN or stenting. And uh, then after PCN is done, the is still seven. Uh, Another option, alternative platinum. So Carboplatin. We should give a place with our alternative carboplatin. Anyone else? Ani? <coughs> huh? Paka? So we have only uh, four, four things in the table at this moment. I can see Ani, I can see Pralad, uh, uh, Akhil, Hatate, Okri. Okay. 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 I think so. Uh, thank you. Unless we have any more questions, we can. Uh, thank you. We can have a short test. Jaldi karo. So exam is basically hota hai. Abhi lamba time lag gaya long case ko. So we have to be prepared depending upon the exam. Ki mujhe kitna kya karna hai presentation. So abhi jada time nahi hai. So jaldi karo bhai. Sir examination batao. 
to be mentally prepared you know there is a set pattern but pattern does change uh, based on uh, you know we want to take exam depending upon his uh, timing and availability but go ahead but out uh, good morning teachers and colleagues uh, my short cases uh, this is a 32 year old gentleman from is bengal driver by occupation married present chief complaints of ulcer over the left cheek for the past four months so coming to the history of present illness he was apparently normal four months back so when he started having ulcer over the left cheek which is initially smaller in size and gradually progressed to the present size and it was also associated with pain and there is no other history significant which is bleeding redness or ulceration for the of the overlying skin or ear pain excessive salivation or post bleeding discharge is wahan pe aega to tell me only positive history or short case rahega bole ki on our two lines history tell me only examination past history no comorbidities or hospital admission on a previous history personal history is a cigarette smoker for the past 10 years one pack per day and the reform since three months and uh, so coming to the summary is a 32 year old male uh, smoker examination nahi bata sir history acha so with the ulcer or the left cheek associated with pain for four months so coming to the examination is a uh, conscious oriented cooperative and moderately built and nourished so vitals are stable inspection of the oral cavity the mouth opening is adequate two fingers able to pass and poor oral hygiene that is nicotine stains are present on the teeth and there is no sharp tooth or loss of teeth and uh, coming to the inspection of the left buccal mucosa it is there is a 5 bar 4 cm ulcer proliferative growth over the left buccal mucosa extension wise anteriorly 1 cm from anterior commissure posteriorly rmt is involved and 1 cm behind the anterior transverse uh, pillar the lesion goes and upper gbs is involved superiorly and anterior lower gbs is free skin is free but the cheek fullness is present and there is no bleeding other sides of the oral cavity is normal tongue movements are normal and torso movements normal no visible mask seen in them so coming to the palpation inspective findings were confirmed and uh, there is a left level 1b node which is a 2 by 1 cm uh, which is mobile and skin is pinchable not tender often examination wise is normal and vocal vocal cord is mobile systemic examination is normal so coming to my diagnosis he is a 32 year old male with a cigarette smoker 10 years and uh, with ulcerative proliferative growth for, over the left buccal mucosa for the past four months associated with pain and uh, uh, stage wise it is 5 or 4 cm with cheek fullness more probably more than one uh, depth of invasion will be present so my different uh, diagnosis will be carcinoma of left buccal mucosa ct4a n1 m0 both right uh, justify ct4 people because uh, it's more than 4 cm tumor and uh, cheek fullness is present so most probably the depth of invasion will be more than 1 cm so i uh, more than 1 cm is uh, more than 4 cm with the depth of invasion is more than 10 mm but depth of invasion may be pathological pathological but you know so uh, coming to size also more than 4 more than 4 cm is could be all right could be missing but it's important that uh, that you don't know depth of invasion you don't it may be yes. proliferative invasion uh, clinically it will be then p3 n1 m3 n1 both but yeah so what do you do next so uh, i'll go for the investigations for the diagnosis and uh, coming to uh, in the uh, coming back to the staging what else uh, uh, one can do uh, what else want we want to know in the head and neck cancer you have buccal mucosa yes So, what is the chance that buccal mucosa cancer can have a synchronous prime? There is two percent chance of synchronous prime. How do you find out? Uh, I've done an Hopkins examination, which is a normal. I have done Hopkins examination. Okay, I didn't. Then I uh, uh, no, missed that. No part. Take it. Next, so, coming to the investigation for the diagnosis, I will do a CCT head and neck, including thorax, along with the blood investigations. A CCT head and neck and thorax. Why will you do it? Because it's a locally advanced tumor, uh, D3 and the node. post so i will go for so go get a you know surgeon bol raha hai ki i can operate seeing whatever i am seeing but uh, uh, is the treatment kya plan kar raha hai welcome to the investigation i'm just relating that how do you take a decision so uh, what treatment you are planning the actually the lesion is extending up to the zygoma of tumoral edema so thoda sa jab bol raha hai to zygoma wo to wo to bataya nahi kyun kar exam mein abhi to modify kar rahe ho cheek fullness which is extending up to the zygoma so only Achha, cheek fullness dekho extending up to zygoma na swelling hogi nahi jab skin involvement nahi hogi maine abhi apne 15 saal mein dekhi abhi kyunki tumne specifically likha skin involvement nahi hai correct na skin involvement skin involvement ka tarika ye nahi hota ki skin mein ulceration hota hai skin involvement ka aap pinch karte ho pinch nahi hoti hai to skin involvement mat karte hai again i repeat uh, you know i haven't seen a patient 
having a uh, you know uh, you have a lesion in buccal mucosa you can have upper alveolus going up that's a different matter but if you have a buccal mucosa lesion going up to zygoma and skin but not being involved so that's what you, if you put this contradictory then it's a bit of a, a question but again thoda dekh ho jao zygoma apne nahi bataya tha clinical examination mein nahi involved hai ab kya karenge surgery pata ye kya treatment hoga uska t3 n1 disease jo aapka buccal mucosa ka hai aapne bola 1 cm commissure se piche hai aur bata rmt free in this patient rmt is involved rmt is involved acha so fir bhi kya karenge iski treatment kya karenge So for this patient, if T3 N1 will directly go ahead with surgery. Surgery. Or surgery, me kya karte hain? While localization with ipsilateral modified radical. बहुत बड़े तो वो आपके surgeon साहब ने बोला examination करके देखा उंगली उंगली डाल कर देखा बोला भाई मैं एक सेंटीमीटर margin wide excision करूँगा और साथ में क्या करेंगे? Ipsilateral modified radical neck node. Ipsilateral bilateral जो भी है उनकी मर्जी है आप usually ipsilateral हो क्योंकि एक ही तरफ आपका node है but एक बार node देखते हो तो दूसरे में दूसरी तरफ भी आप थोड़ा करते हो neck node को handle करते हो बोला वो तो एनीवे मैं करूंगा अब मैंने सिटी स्कैन क्यों करवा रहा है सिंस आई टुक इट द डेथ ऑफ इनवेशन आल्सो सो उसको भूल जाओ फिर बताओ कराओगे कि नहीं कराओगे नो सर इन T3 एन1 इट्स नॉट इट बट इफ T4 डिजीज एंड एन2 और एन3 डिजीज तो नहीं कराओगे ना कोर्ट में एनी वन एनी वन एज एनी अदर थर्ड ईयर क्या कोई तो बोलो राहुल बैठे हो तुम तो एडनेक में बैठ तो सब के सिटी स्कैन किसी के सिटी स्कैन के बिना सर्जरी करवाए हो तो तो कराते हैं हैं सबकी करवाते द द चांस ऑफ लंग मैच इन 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 टी 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 एंड 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 इट्स इट्स सेवन परसेंटेज सीसीडी बट तो नहीं है ना तुम में देखो है तुम ये तो सिटी स्कैन बोल रहे नहीं कराएंगे वो राहुल बोले जा रहे कराएंगे क्योंकि तो तुम रेफरी हो गए तुम बताओगे क्या करना चाहिए जो जोर से बोलो कराएंगे नहीं कराएंगे अच्छा देखो बताता हूँ तो क्यों कराने पर क्यों नहीं कराते एक चीज ही कुछ जस्टिफाई केयरफुल कि भाई कब कराते इसलिए आज आर एम टी इन्वॉल्व है कि नहीं कुमार आर एम टी इन्वॉल्व है पोस्टीरियर एक्सीडेंट मुझे नहीं मिलेगा No one can, जैसा भी एग्जामिनेशन कर लो किसी को नहीं मिल सकता पोस्टर क्योंकि उसके बाद ब्लाइंड स्पेस है आप म्यूकोजा में देख सकते हो उसके बाद जो जा रही है ट्यूमर नो वन कैन से आज के टाइम में जो लिम्फनोट अगर छोटी रीजन है तो आई एग्री की हमारे ही डेटा है कि हमें लिम्फनोट डिस्ट्रिक्शन करनी चाहिए बट हमें यह भी पता है कि लिम्फनोट डिस्ट्रिक्शन कितनी करनी चाहिए दैट डेटा नहीं आप लिम्फो डिसेक्शन सेलेक्ट जनरली हम करते हैं सेलेक्टेड उसको क्या बोलते हैं मॉडिफाइड मॉडिफाइड ठीक है तो सेलेक्ट जनरली सेलेक्टिव मॉडिफाइड करते हैं बट मान लो कि केंद्र भी लिम्फ नोट विच इज स्किपिंग मॉडिफाइड रेडिकल वो कैसे करोगे एंड ये देर कैन भी आर्ग्यूमेंट कि देखो वो सिर्फ पांच दस परसेंट लोगों में होता है जनरली स्किप होता नहीं बट होता है These are justifications हम करते हैं इसलिए आप देखोगे शायद ही कोई रीजन होता है 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 क्या ये ये थोड़ी पुरानी बट आती कि आपको ये question आएगा but you should have answer कि हम क्या करने वाले हैं क्यों करने वाले हैं बट द मोमेंट रीजन इज बिगर एंड इट इज गोइंग इन टू एरिया वेर इज अंड एक्सटेंट स्कैन कैन टेल यू इसलिए सीटी स्कैन कराए अब देखो आपने थोड़ा भी कराया थोड़ा की जस्टिफिकेशन भी आपने कर दी कि भी हमने थोड़ा एक्स क्यों कराया और तो जस्टिफिकेशन है इन्होंने बोला सिक्स सेवन परसेंट पेशेंट को लंग मेट्स होता है इसके अलावा यदि सिंक्रोनस किसी ने बोला बहुत बड़े सिंक्रोनस जो है सिंक्रोनस भी हो सकता है यू कैन फाइंड आउट कितने परसेंट में वो होता है टू परसेंट ये आता रहता है टू परसेंट पर ईयर वन टू टू परसेंट पर ईयर करोगे तो ध्यान आएगा वो आपको अनदर मिलने से आती रहती है एट द बेस्ट लाइन रिमेन्स अराउंड टू टू थ्री ठीक है तो इसकी वजह से आप थोड़ा सी करते हो फिर आपने क्या कराया हाँ क्या करोगे उसके बाद बायोसी भी तो कर रहे थे लेफ्ट बगल में कोई सोल्यूशन बहुत बढ़िया फॉर द प्लानिंग विल डू ई सी जी टू डी एक्ट एंड प्यूटर नॉडिमेट्री and uh, also again the dietitian referral and speech and swallowing referral and the patient now you have seen the patient and yes of karke aapne bhej diya surgeon ke paas now surgeon is concerned 
डॉक्टर साहब बोलता पीटीए क्यों किया सिंस आई हैव पुट द क्लिनिकल स्टेज ऑफ टी4 सो सो द जस्टिफिकेशन यू हैव बहुत बढ़िया तो आगे क्या करने वाले हो इसका नेक्स्ट पोस्ट सो कमिंग टू द इन्वेस्टिगेशन सो ब्लडिंग मशीन बहुत बढ़िया फिटनेस के लिए आगे ट्रीटमेंट के लिए सीसीटी हेड एंड नेक वेस्ट कोई कोई बात नहीं कोई बात है आई थिंक सो वी विल मूव ऑन टू द कॉर्पोरेट प्रेजेंटेशन भी सो इट इज एक्चुअली 3.2 बाय 2.4 सेंटीमीटर व्हिच इज इन्वॉल्विंग रेटर आरएम टी इज इन्वॉल्व मस्टिकुलर मसल मस्टिकुलर स्पेस मिडिल टेरिगार्ड मसल्स एंड टेम्पोरल मसल इज इन्वॉल्व एंड देयर इज एरोशन ऑफ द पोस्टरो लैटरल वॉल ऑफ द मैक्सिलरी सिनस एंड द सप्टल एरोशन ऑफ लेफ्ट हेमी मैंटल स्पेस एंड लेवल लेफ्ट लेवल 1 बी एंड 2 नोड्स आई इट टेल्स यू व्हाई सीटी स्कैन इज इंपॉर्टेंट कि अगर आरएम टी इन्वॉल्व है यू कैन नॉट बी एबल टू फील इट तो आपका आईटी इन्वॉल्वमेंट जो होता है ना इट हैपेंस फार मीडियली and which you can't palpate and which is seen in the scan and it goes blindly inside so once the rmt is involved it's not because of rmt we are doing it uh, you know uh, ct scan rmt doesn't make it uh, unsuspectable but beyond rmt what happens what you see in the ct scan uh, because you have a space there where it will go to itr and what you're seeing is high itr in being involved here yes theek hai na yes sir it goes okay uh, next pull uske baad kya karoge So biopsy from the lesion, uh, squamous cell carcinoma. Very good. Next, what will happen? Coming to the diagnosis, this uh, squamous cell carcinoma, 32-year-old male, squamous cell carcinoma, left bottom of the mucosa, CT4B, N2B, M0. Very B. good. What will do next? So for this patient, I will plan for uh, neogen chemotherapy because uh, T4B still it is technically undetectable. Medial pterygoid muscle is involved, but still we can go ahead with uh, neogen chemotherapy. The DCF uh, treated. Let's go with T. Anyone else? any other third year rahul darshan tum third year mein ho second year mein confusion rehti hai mujhe isliye main bol hi nahi pata main bol raha hu ya na bol second year third year third year darshan tum bolte nahi ho kuch yaar chup chap baithe rehte ho main bol hi jata hu tum third year mein ha aur kya kuch karoge puchoge kuch aur information ke liye atul saswat देखो अगर मैं कुछ ये बताऊं कि अगर अगर आपने मुझसे क्वेश्चन पूछा मैं टेरिगोमेजर फिशर इन्वॉल्व है प्लान चेंज हाई थोड़ी आई आई टी बोला तू आर आस्किंग आईटीएफ के ऊपर है और नो आईटीएफ इन्वॉल्व है बट कितना ऊपर है करेक्ट आईआईटीएफ मतलब क्या होता है कहां से हम डिसाइड किया आईआईटीएफ इन्वॉल्व एक्चुअली आईआईटीएफ इट्स डिवाइडेड इनटू सुप्रा नॉच एंड फ्रंट बाउंड्री बता दो उसका ये दैट इज अ लाइन में ड्रॉन टू द मैंडिबुलर नॉच द अबो मैंडिबुलर नॉच कौन सा होता है सिग्माइड सिग्माइड नॉच इट इज सिग्माइड नॉच वो जो मैंडिबुल की जो कर्व है उसकी जो लोअर बाउंड्री है उसके ऊपर है and then you want to know kitna upar hai and now is skull base involved hai foramen involved foramen oval involved hai fir kya kar fir kya ye same plan rahe ya different plan ho jayega if it is that involved then uh, we go for ct rt definitely ct rt acha okay pali pali can pali can say whatever you want and you can justify later on but it's a plan will be changed yes. and the, you can always have have a saying that in that condition you can have various other option with a relatively palliative intent either rt or ctrt or palliative chemotherapy and nct followed by rt or ctrt all those options will come out in those situation but in this situation where you have a high itf without these involvement this is the approach you will be taking jo aap bol rahe ho theek hai okay to so, aapne kya bola nct de do yes uh, dcf uh, karne bahut badhiya fir kya karoge kitna size le doge Two cycles after two cycles, I will reassess the patient with the okay. partial response. Okay, what will you do after that? Uh, partial response. Then I will go ahead with the surgery. 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 After that, what will you do? Then I will give adjuvant chemo RT. Adjuvant chemo RT. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, this is a big question. After surgery, after surgery, Yeah, surgery. There is actually no randomized data comparison post neoadjuvant chemotherapy margins to be taken, but our data showed that uh, 
even post neurogen uh, chemotherapy margins hmm. we take it and uh, there is a similar local region like 10 to 12% bahut badhiya to number revise margin lene chahiye yes very good aur bolo aur koi kisi ko dusra opinion hai you want to articulate in a different way and two randomized data previously done with the neurogen chemotherapy that is literature data at all and is wrong at all that they took the pre neurogen chemotherapy that is 1.5 cm based on the clear clinical radiology margins and there also there also the similar local okay. regional recurrence was there so it was the original margin or device margin that was the original margin anyone atul तो आंसर तुम ठीक दिया मैं मान बिल्कुल मान लो रिवाइज मार्जिन होनी चाहिए बट जो रेफरेंस और उसके जो कॉन्टेक्स दे रहे हो वो सही अतुल उसका चक्कर क्या देखो दो ही रैंडमाइज ट्रायल हुए आज तक बोलो क्रेविटी में एनएससीटी का तो क्या करें हमने वो पढ़ पढ़ के हमें याद हो जाते हो जाते आपको भी हो जाएगी थोड़े दिन में अभी आप तो गड़बड़ बता रहे एनीवन एल्स मानवी क्या करना चाहिए रिवाइज मार्जिन और ओरिजिनल मार्जिन शाश्वत ओरिजिनल मार्जिन देखो चलो देखो मैं बताता हूँ ये आर्टिकुलेट करके कैसे आर्टिकुलेट करोगे इन्होंने ट्राई की आंसर देने के ये बात सही है कि रिवाइज मार्जिन होती है इसमें कोई डाउट अब इसको कैसे आर्टिकुलेट कर तो देर आर टू रैंडम है एक जोंग साहब चाइना से रिजर लिटरा मैडम जो है वो यूरोप से रिजर लिटरा में रिवाइज मार्जिन थी बट वाइड थी 1.5 सेंटीमीटर थी बट रिवाइज थी उन्होंने बोला रिवाइज मार्जिन लो लेकिन वन मंथ लो वन पॉइंट फाइव सेंटीमीटर जोंग में था ऑरिजन मार्जिन था दोनों ट्रायल में एनएसिटी आम में लोकल रिजल फेलियर ज्यादा नहीं तो रिजल्ट में भी जो उन्होंने रिवाइज मार्जिन ली थी उसमें भी लोको रिजन फिगर रेट ज्यादा नहीं थी सजेस्टिंग कि देखो रिवाइज मार्जिन लेते हो तो आप कॉम्प्रोमाइज नहीं करते करेक्ट समझ में आई बात जबकि दोनों ट्रायल नेगेटिव थे ओवरऑल सर्वाइवल थे बट दैट टॉट यू अगर आप ये देते हो तो मार्जिन के लिए आप प्रॉब्लम नहीं कर रहे हो तीसरी जो उन्होंने बताया वो हम लोग की रेस्पेक्ट रेट्रोस्पेक्टिव डेटा थी टी फोर ट्यूमर अपफ्रंट रिसेक्टेड एंड टी फोर ट्यूमर जिसको हमने एनएसिटी दी and when we will try to see ki margin positivity rate kya hai in dono ko wo dono ka similar hai usme farak nahi suggesting ab the revised margin lete ho to aap margin positivity rate after surgery and loco regional recurrence rate wo similar hota hai wo farak nahi hota evidence hai aur jagahon pe breast cancer mein correct hai ya nahi hai hai ya nahi hai sahi bol rahe ho ya nahi bol rahe ho correct वो अलग बात है बट ओरल कैविटी में दिस इज द नॉट ये थोड़ा आर्टिकुलेट करना पड़ता है कि आप कैसे जस्टिफाई कर रहे हो बहुत बढ़िया थी मार्जिन की बात हो गई कि हम सर्जरी कैसे करेंगे अब सर्जरी होगी है ना अब सर्जरी के बाद क्या करेंगे अभी ये बात जो है ना कीमो आरटी एडजुवेंट कीमो आरटी सब कोई पेशेंट का रेसिडिवल टीमर पैथोलॉजी देखेंगे ना यस सर पैथोलॉजी वाई टी2 एन0 आया अब क्या करेंगे भाई सिटी आरटी still go ahead so city at our data kya bataoge jaldi jaldi bata do person time city at city at our person reason bata do to ek example puchega t2 n0 t2 n0 mein tum city at bol rahe ho bole dr kumar my doubt ko discussion ho raha hai next city at quite quite an person acha jata jata chance hota hai anyone else manavi कुछ नंबर है कोई कोई रीजनिंग और देखो जो भी काम करना चाहो ना या आप किसी भी नेता से पूछोगे किस लिए कर रहे हो भाई देश की भलाई कर रहे हैं गरीबियों की भलाई कर रहे हैं तो आई ग्री हम जो भी कर रहे हैं सब वो वो पेशेंट के लॉन्ग टर्म सर्वाइवल के लिए कर रहे हैं बट वो लॉन्ग टर्म सर्वाइवल हुआ कि नहीं ये तो बताना पड़ेगा ना किसका सम एविडेंस वाइज ये फर्क है ना हमारे और नेताओं के बीच में हमें कुछ बताना पड़ता है रीजनिंग बतानी पड़ती है देखो भाई आप कैसे ये करो एग्जामिनर है वो आपको कन्विंस करनी पड़ेगी वोटिंग तो है नहीं यहाँ चार एग्जामिनर है वोटिंग भी हो सकती है राहुल तो तो कहां से बताया लोकल रीजनल कंट्रोल वो सही बोल रहे कि सर वो देश की भलाई के लिए है हमारे सारे गरीबों की भलाई के लिए है सब गरीबों की अच्छा करने के लिए हम कर रहे हैं लेकिन वो कैसे कुछ तो अभी तो इसका भी आंसर आपको कैसे आर्टिकुलेट करना होता है 
जो भी दो रैंडमाइज ट्रायल हुए आज तक इस सिचुएशन में इस सिचुएशन में देख भी नहीं हुआ एन ए सी टी के फॉलोड बायन गिविंग सीटीआरटी आप तो सर्जरी एंड देन डूंगी कोई स्टडी नहीं दिस नॉट अगल रैंडमाइज ट्रायल डेटा अब क्या करेंगे देन वी गो टू नॉन रैंडमाइज ट्रायल डेटा जिसे हम लाइफ में करते अगर मर्सिडीज नहीं मिली तो मारती एट हंड्रेड ले जाना तो पड़ता ही है तो जो मिला उससे लेते फिर हम तो नॉन रैंडमाइज ट्रायल डेटा देखते हैं तो या फिर इनडायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट एविडेंस क्या वेलकम टू नॉन रैंडमाइज बिफोर दैट देर आर टू रैंडमाइज ट्रायल डेटा ऑफ कीमोडेशन वर्सेस रेडिएशन करेक्ट ओरल कैविटी कैंसर में ओवरऑल हेड एंड कैंसर में ओरल कैविटी ऑल्सो वर्सेस इन दोस रैंडमाइज ट्रायल डेटा व्हिच इज एनएजीएम पब्लिकेशन देयर इज ओनली टू दीस पेशेंट्स वर इंक्लूडेड सो टी4 ट्यूमर ओरल कैविटी वाज इंक्लूडेड इन दोस पेशेंट्स एज अ इंक्लूजन क्राइटेरिया देयर इज अ कैच कैच वाज इन सब ग्रुप एनालिसिस only extra nodal extension and margin close and positive was significant but the sub group analysis overall the trial was positive for all these features and what we are saying here and if you say today also ncsm recommends the patients with high risk feature beyond these two recommendation also extra nodal spread and close and uh, margin positive other places if you have high risk feature you need to consider a cumulation that is where it comes that you have this t4 tumors which are far bigger than what were included in that study so you given nct how nct changes the biology we don't know but these patients if they were undergoing surgery up front then yes there was a reason to give chemoradiation in these patients so these are worse than those usual t4 which were included there so that is one reason second is We said uh, rightly there is a retrospective data again data from TMH. We analyze the data of what after NCT giving CT RT versus no treatment. We didn't have the middle one only RT. Why? Anyone? Man, we catch up. Karo gaya. Because we have Dr. Kumar. This beach wala kyu nahi? Aapke pas? Aapke CT RT versus none hai? Ye abhi RT wala kyu nahi? John, John, you are in second year, na John? बिल्कुल वही चीज है जो आप बोल रहे हो पेशेंट का लोकल कंट्रोल बेहतर होना चाहिए सर्वाइवल बेहतर होना चाहिए सब सही है बट कैसे होनी चाहिए ये इसकी रीजनिंग है ठीक है समझ में आई बात तो गरीबों का भला हो बट कैसे भला करेंगे वो उसका ये तरीका है अच्छा आप बताओ ये आर्टिक हो गया हमने सर्जरी भी कर ली केमोडेशन के लिए भी नो बात कर ली इनकी कितने लोगों का रिसेप्शन होता है एनएससीटी के बाद इन पेशेंट्स में हां 40% पेशेंट्स 40% पेशेंट्स का रिसेप्शन होता है उसमें से उसके बाद कितने सर्वाइव करते हैं When they have a complete pathological, uh, no, कि देखो मैंने तो क्वेश्चन पूछा था ना तो तुम्हारे पेपर के बारे में पढ़ा था राहुल ने और ना उसको पता थी डेटा के बारे में वो कल तो मैं बार खड़ा रखेगा इन द द 2 ईयर लोकल रीजन रेकरेंस वाज 20% ओके थोड़ा सॉल्व बढ़िया बताओ कौन ये थोड़ी अच्छी बात है तुम्हारी अच्छा तुम बता रहे हो क्वेश्चन 2 ईयर सर्वाइवल क्या करता है एनीवन नो इट्स नहीं पता पर देश तुम भी नहीं अनवर्सन देखो This is one example. I'll come to the data, but one example how uh, I keep saying everybody how if you have a problem and if you want to answer a question, how you can do it uh, in the OPD. This was a problem for us. All EBM guideline, NCG guideline, ICMR guideline, whatever you see for technically unresectable oral cavity cancer, this is based on only this data. There is no other data in the world to have this you no know, answer. Some replication has been there, some one from Kidwai, some other places. But this is the only data. This was a retrospective analysis. There are ten to twelve publications without any ethics committee approval, and it has changed uh, the multiple guidelines in India. 
highlighting that if you have a problem in the clinic, you have to think about how to give a solution. Now, come to two-year survival, two-year survival in the patient who received NACD was 50%. What it means? Out of 100 patients you started, 40 to 45 underwent surgery, and out of those 50 lives, means 25% patient benefited at two years, which we expect that will be long-term benefit because in head and acute, there are long-term benefit, a patient who benefits. Otherwise, the average life of this patient would have been eight to nine months. That correct, say, go wrong. So that's where it benefits. Sunday wait karlo, majhe le. Monday tumhe to khada rana padega din par OPD mein. Kabi ha follow up kya karoge? So follow up uh, early once with uh, every three months clinical examination haan. and. Chalega two minutes room chalega. Follow up kya? Ah, oh, okay, 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 but but okay. Then I'll take two minutes. So follow every three months, three months for the first year uh, with clean, history and clinical examination. Then uh, after uh, in the second year, every four months once, then two to five years, every six months once with history anyone? and clinical examination. Uh, anyone? And anyone? along with the lab investigations, uh, thyroid profile you have to check. Uh, the lipidemia, you have to do uh, lipid Good. This lipidemia. Because uh, patients with, we have given uh, the long term side effects of the chemotherapy. So, which is dose No, sir. Five few. Just the. I put okay, this platinum positive. You know, I know, I know, metabolic syndrome. That's why I'll do these things. You see, we, uh, the examiner understands. I mean, you bold. Anyone else? And check for any history of aspiration. Both, but both important. Answer sub color, thoras organize color. Those got chal nazi examiner for body alanazi, so divide karoge. You know, Dr. Kumar, I will do this follow up to say borrow every three months in HD for two years, then every six monthly for next two, one year or two years, then every yearly. So it looks like you are grading. Who knows, every two monthly tika, every four monthly tika. But what examiner wants to know, initially up jaldi karoge. Q jaldi karing initially rao, you can check it. Usually we six months later look after it. So one, uh, the chances of recurrence is high than the initial one first year. Now what happens? John, get the recurrence of the next time. Sorry, too much less. And you had an equally orbit to it. Those are almost, uh, almost 80 to 90 percent recurrence. Yeah. Almost 70% of the returns. So, initially, we have to do this. 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 this. We need to remember for this reason. Reason. Haskar. To this site, as compared to because Hedonic Bath Kare. किस साइट में हम सेल्वेज सर्जरी ज्यादा होता है ये तो ओरल कैविटी है व्हिच आर द साइट्स वेयर द सेल्वेज सर्जरी हम इसलिए करें ना कि जल्दी हम पिकअप करेंगे ट्यूमर एंड देन वी विल डू सर्जरी मोर और रिमूव इट मोर रेकरेंस ईयर टर्म और बकल में कोसा वहां से सेल्वेज नहीं होता अच्छा तो क्या बताना चाहता है तो ओरल कैविटी लैरिंग्स की अच्छी सेल्वेज होती है Oro pharynx and hypopharynx is salvage bada muskil hota hai. You you will see in the clinic ki unke salvage muskil hoti hai. But follow up remains the same. So ek to humne kisliye kya ki bhi sake ta humne recurrence dekhne ke liye kya. Ye bataoge ki kyu karte hain recurrence dekhne. Dusra kyu karte hain? Second primary ke liye karte hain. Tisra kyu karte hain? Complications ke liye karte hain. Complications mein then you will divide it. Surgical complications. To ka ap sab bata rahe the, lekin fragmented bata rahe. Surgical complications ke dekhenge, radiation ke complications ke dekhenge and Systemic therapy go on complications and then you will be able to distribute it better. You have thyroid to lay carnavaleo, shoulder dysfunction to lay carnavaleo, neck and dysfunction. Sorry, must look at the up difference. You will see the patients if the problem with the unco in neck, then examine most the winco sub so much. Any other question by anyone? Uh, Akil, I took a whole lot of time uh, because of obvious reason, you know. Any other question from your side? Okay, we'll put it in a minute.
we can see one sorry mr ji so are we do, do follow up uh, during follow up pet ct in the, indicated in these patients in head neck cancer especially follow up and uh, if yes the, what is the ideal duration pcd uh, pcd only with the when the patient has underwent a definite ctrt or rt we do after 3 months for the pcd response assessment otherwise uh, there's no no indication for pcd so ctrt patient we should do but not early it at least we, we yes. have gap of 3 month yes what is the reason because the radiation itself uh, it can cause a false positive rate uh, so the uh, at least 3 months gap is needed post rt changes everything to settle okay thank you thank you mr ji anyone other any other question dr amit any question any tips for these uh, third years dr amit sorry amit sir also this is still your video anyone else any other question especially i want my younger consultant for years any tips for them which i missed or something these are some practical tips they should remember any question batana chahoge कई बार वो एग्जामिनर मांग लेते हैं आप देखो मैं तो नहीं मांगता बट आई एग्री की मांग लेते हैं कई बार एग्जामिनर की नहीं अब बताओ आप Thank you. Thank you. 